Hello guys, Zenos here and today I am bringing this video to you guys on the new character edition. I mean like the new servant edition which is a 5 star net 7 on air of light. And she is really gorgeous guys, she really looks very good and sexy. And her name is A. Spinks. I mean, uh, you know like... Uh, <laughs> As usual, our air of light or let's say the game wheel, uh, it is running out of the ideas to put new name for the new servant. They just want to attach the same name to the other one just by putting the A. I just don't know what A means. A means angel or something like that. I just don't have any idea but you know like they could put you know like a better name for it. A mythical name you know. But anyways. Looking at this figure, she is very awesome. I mean, just look at her booty and she doesn't even seem to have pennies. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! And uh, her name is Sphinx A and she seems to be an upgraded version of Queen Sphinx which was not really that awesome. But let's see if our new upgraded A Sphinx is actually good or not. Or would she be really looking forward for some, you know, upcoming, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, upgrades or uh, review, so that she could be really great. And let's get into her bio data. So servant name is A Sphinx. If she's awakened, she's known as the first angel, like Michael, A Sphinx. And then origin grade is five star at servant. Uh, primary mark is the hourglass sign, whereas for the secondary mark, it's the anchor type. And uh, let's look into the Fire A Sphinx first, which who is a ranged DPS servant. Her first skill has a 70% chance to increase damage received by enemy for 30 seconds only, which is a level 5, that is good, but it's a cliche. Second skill is, uh, you know, it increases caster's attack for 60 seconds, level 5, which is another cliche. And the third one, the combo skill deals 7700% damage upon skill use. And damage based on damage is based on attack, which is a, a old, old, old cliche, a very old cliche. And then the passive skill combo skills have a 50% chance to decrease the defense of all enemies for 30 seconds by level 5, which is a very big cliche. I mean, like decreasing the defense, come on, by combo skill, well, not really a big fan of it, but oh well, you know. <laughs> Team passive, only in the PvP ally attack plus 45%. While PvP content is getting better and she might have a little bit chance but looking at her stats, she is not gonna, you know, uh, put up a good fight. And relation effect, if an ally Simon is present, attack increases by 100%. For this really poor character, I would love to give her a 5.5 over 10, a maximum of 6 over 10 maybe. <laughs> So let's move on to the Water A Sphinx and she is really good guys. Let's try to talk about her. And she is a support class servant. And uh, with her first skill, she has three in one shot, okay? She does three things with just one skill set. And this is really great guys. So let's start with this. The first one increases attack of all allies for 30 seconds level 5. Okay, that's really great. And 70% chance to prevent the enemy from receiving buffs for 30 seconds, which is also really great. And the third one, wave effect increases attack of all allies for level 2. So that's level 5 plus level 2. It's like a level 7 of attack increase and which is really great guys. It's really lovely and your DPS servant would get a lot of attack burst with this buff. Okay guys, this is really great guys and it's same as that of our Fire Spiegel. A little bit redundant but nonetheless it's really a good skill indeed and uh, let's go into the second skill which grants a shield based on HP to all allies for 30 seconds which is similar to that of Ishmael and really great guys but not as good as the water Halel because with a shield the shield will also reduce the damage that comes from the combo skill but for this one she will only grant the uh, you know the HP shield okay so uh, okay ish okay and increases defense of all allies for 60 seconds that's one minute guys one minute and it's of level 5 which is really great guys and for the combo skill summons a giant 
Sacred Spear to attack the enemy. Okay, 70% chance to decrease enemy defense for 60 seconds. Level 5, which is a cliche, but well, good enough. And Wave Effect increases the speed of all allies for level 3, which is so good, guys. And any spell or any skill that increases the speed of your whole team, that is really great, guys. It's the same as that of our Fire Spiegel, and it's really great. It's really good. I mean, like, she is like a copy paste of Fire Spiegel. The only thing that differs is in the passive skill. Becomes immune to skill gauge uh, the reduction debuffs, which Fire Spiegel doesn't have, and fills combo skill gauge of DPS class 7 by only 5% instead of 10%, which our Fire Spiegel has when a like tank class is struck once every 3 seconds. So, for our Fire Spiegel, he will be increasing the skill gauge of DPS class by 10% in 5 seconds. So, <clears throat> with our uh, A Sphinx Water A Sphinx, uh, she will be increasing the skill gauge of our DPS class by 5% only, but in 3 seconds. So, it will take 6 seconds to actually match up the 10% as that of D5 Spiegel. Well, there will be a gap because, like, it is only during the time when the ally tank class is struck. But if somebody else is struck, then it's gonna be a really bad thing, okay? So, comparatively, I think Fire Spiegel is still better in terms of the passive skill for now. And looking into the team passive PvP, in PvP mode, ally speed is plus 32%, which is better than Fire Spiegel nonetheless, okay? Anything that increases the speed stats of our whole team is so good, and especially in the PvP where the contents are actually expanding so vastly, you know? There are two types of PvP right now, right? One is infinite PvP and another is the traditional PvP, so which is so good. And uh, I really love this character. I am in love with this character. And uh, relation effect, well, let's not go into that one. It's blah, blah, blah. And uh, I would really love to rate this awesome and awesome character a total of around, uh, you know, 9 to 9.5 or 10 because she is really good, guys. She is really good. SS class, you know, SS class, you know, God tier class. So, uh, going into the forest as Sphinx, let's see if she is really good, which is a range DPS servant. The first one, 70% chance to decrease enemy defense for 30 seconds, cliche. The second skill increases caster's attack for 60 seconds, cliche. And the third one, combo skill deals 7700% damage upon skill use, damage is based upon attack, which is another cliche. And the passive skill removes a shield from all allies upon combo skill use, which is a bit unique and uh, conditional. Uh, not conditional, I mean, you know, like situational. In some situations, he can actually be very good. But, you know, I, I mean, uh, it's not a game-changing stuff, okay? Uh, well, uh, when you are actually against a team where uh, people are using Water Halel, when she is putting the HP based shield over all her allies and uh, we are having a hard time you know dealing a damage to the enemy team then this combo skill can actually remove those uh, HP based uh, shield and this can be a really good thing for us in getting forward in the PvP mode but other than that she is a very cliche character uh, team passive all in the PvP mode, ally attack plus 45%, which is good as well. And uh, relation effect, if an ally Simon is present, attack increases by 100%, blah, blah, blah. So this character, Forest A Sphinx, is, uh, I mean, like, uh, well, 6.5 over 10. I mean, I would give 6, 6, just 6, 6 over 10. Not really that great, not really that game-changing stuff. Well, for the light A Sphinx, all our hopes are on her. Let's see if she is really open, you know, like, She's really up to it, up to the challenge. Hey, <laughs> the first skill: seventy percent chance to increase damage received by enemy for thirty seconds. Level five, which is a total cliche waste of it. And the next one is increases caster's attack for sixty seconds. Level five, cliche. The third one summons. I mean, deals 7,700% damage upon skill use, damage based on attack, that is another cliche. And the passive skill deals damage based on attack if the target is defense down state, upon combo skill use, not really that good. Deals damage that ignores the enemy's defense if the target is not in death down state, which is good, but it's kind of conditional. If, it's, if it were to be like Jita stuff, you know, like uh, 
ignoring defense at any cost all the time then it would be a really great passive skill but it's conditional just like the water heed which is not really a popular character in this game people really don't you know parang i mean i mean i mean i mean just don't like to see him so the team passive pvp okay in the pvp mode ally attack plus 45 percent and in the relation effect if an ally simon is present then attack increases by 100 percent which is i mean okay so for this light it's a bit of disappointment i guess i mean uh, if you really pull you know like finally 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 out of all the blues and all the odds you were able to pull a five star net servant of from the twilight stone and you get this thing the servant you would be disappointed guys this this is a total disappointment and let's get into the dark ace pinks support class servant so what she does with the first skill she has the two things going on 70 percent chance to increase damage received by all enemies for 60 seconds okay that's okay that's good level 5 70 percent chance of dealing dark damage over time to the enemy for 15 seconds which is always good and that is really a good uh, you know first skill now let's move on to the second skill increases defense of all allies for 60 seconds level 5 which is good which is good not bad uh, wave effect increases the defense of all allies for the level 2 so that's like a level 7 boost of defense and it's really great for like uh, you know def uh, I mean uh, def boosted uh, servants like let's say Carmilla right she is a def boosted unit right uh, higher the defense of her and she will deal a lot of more damage so this can be really good for her okay mm, let's get into the combo skill it removes one debuff from all allies uh, okay and 70% chance to decrease enemy defense for 30 seconds that's a cliche uh, i'm not really that impressed by the combo skill now let's move on to the passive skill heals hp of all allies by 15 percent when removing a diva from upon combo skill use okay heals amount is based on the caster's hp so more debuff we have on our head and then uh, she is gonna remove it with her combo skill and during that combo skill she is gonna heal our health which is a little bit tricky and it can be really you know spammable really good uh, oh well team passive in dungeons only not in the pvp now now she is a dungeon unit allies attack plus 45 percent okay good if an enemy Lenore is present, the target's passive skill effect will be blocked. Okay, so uh, this unit, I would love to give her like maybe 7 over 10. Not more than that, okay? She's not really that much of a game changing unit. You know, like not as good as that of our Fire Spiegel. Or now our new contestant, the Water A Sphinx. Out of all this batch, obviously the best one is water a sphinx and if you guys get her oh my god guys you guys are really lucky really really lucky and out of your twilight stone somehow you managed to get the light a sphinx and the dark a sphinx i really have no idea on how to you know make you guys understand that maybe see maybe in the coming future she might get a good uh, you know a bonus or let's say uh, stuff uh, or whatsoever now let's try to look into her you know uh, you know you know you know the curvy body okay dear she is dear she is just look at it oh my god oh my god oh my god okay that's good that's good Ooh. okay I think she has a panties right okay okay that's good that's good okay so this is how she looks right and she really looks great she really looks great she really looks great and her lancer that is just like the Lancer of uh, Michael, isn't it like that? You know, a Thunder Sword or maybe like Jews. That's really great. That's really great. So, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to enjoy more videos on like this. Please don't forget to comment in the comment section below to put your opinions, your thoughts, and, uh, you know, recommendations. So, see you guys in the next video.